What's up guys and girls, this is Timmy and welcome back to FDL Subscriber Crew Edition. So if you've been watching the previous or episodes in this series, you'll know that we are riding a wave of success. And our Slug Cruiser is a absolute beast. Uh, a little bit of a recap as where we're at. We are, as you can see from our weapon setup, we are pretty formidable. Flak level 2, Flak level 1, Burst Laser 2 and Dual Lasers all fully powered and accounted for. Uh, yeah, so that combined together gives us a uh, quite a devastating force to unleash on any ships we come across. I think the only uh, thing that would sort of round off and fully complete this is if we could find maybe the weapons pre-igniter augment. Uh, if we could get that with that setup, that is pretty devastating to any ships we come across. So we are going to keep an eye out for that and try and hit the stores. I did say in the last episode that I thought I was done with stores, but... There is that, and there's also, I maybe would like stealth weapons, so that I can utilize my weapons during the shield, uh, while I'm cloaked, sorry. Uh, that's more of a secondary thing, and I'd also probably like to get a bit more crew, because they are a bit light on crew. And as always, I've forgotten to heal everyone up, so let's do that before we go any further. What have we got? Our uh, human and our, one of our slugs. Is it you? It is you. Let's send them guys to get healed up before we make a jump. And we are about halfway through now, just at the end of Sector 4. So we are just about to make the decision of which sector we want to go to, to next for Sector 5. And let's see what we got to choose from. NG or Zoltan? Hmm. Quite like the NG one. Um, not sure. There are certain orders that you can do these sectors in that will potentially lead you to unlock quests, but I have no idea what they are. So I think I'm going to go for Zoltan Control just because I fancy a bit of a challenge. I could end up regretting that when I hit a level 4 with a Zoltan Shield. Level 4 Shield, Zoltan Shield and weapons to destroy me, but I feel like with all the shots that we have available to us in our weapons loadout that we're pretty safe. So let's make that jump straight away. And hope they didn't forget anything from the last episode before I did that. So, right, everyone's healed up. So let's send them back to the positions. Have I got them set up in their positions? I do. It appears awesome. Right. So, quick check of supplies: fourteen fuel, twenty-six missiles, fourteen uh, drone parts. That is acceptable, given that we're not really using drones or uh, missiles at the moment. We don't have enough to buy any more power, which would be nice. That'll be the next thing, so we can get our level three shields. Up and running on a permanent basis. Uh, we we'll just do that. Uh, we could suck out of mind control now too if we want a bit more dodge temporarily. All right, what do we got in front of us? We got a pulsar. Ooh, that's unpleasant. Let's take on this one first. Uh, I certainly want to get a little bit more power before I go to that pulsar. I think. Okay, what do we got? Hacking weapons. What have we got? Halbert and is that a, just a single laser? Yeah, pirate marking, yada yada yada. Uh, what are they going to hack? O2, that's fine. They're not going to be alive long enough to cause me issues with O2. Well, you know, if you're going to hack that, then I'll just upset that person. That's why the hell's not. Wait for the slow-ass Flak 2 to get ready. And... Unleash all the death. Right, let's do Flak and... Flak... There's 10 shots there. <laughs> uh, that and that. Uh, yeah, they're going to try and run. Yeah, you, you're not running anywhere, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, you're going to try and run. You're going to try and surrender. You're not going to surrender and you're going to die. There we go. See, that is the power of our mega ship now. Um, I think that was slightly better than the surrender offer. Like I say, if I had weapons pre-ignited so I didn't even have to wait for these to reload, that would be devastating. Right, let's grab ourselves a couple more power. Just throw that straight into engines for now. Oh, I really meant to float more strap, scrap than that, but oh well. Oh well. Uh, I kind of I want to do this one, but if there's another ship there, let's have a look. Um, I'm gonna go through the nebulas, give ourselves a bit more time. You know, the exit's in a nebula for once. That's kind of weird. Got to go. Here, if there's nothing there, then let's go here because then we'll see if there's anything worth going up that way for. Uh, drone. Drone with level 2 shields. Ooh, two drones. 
Uh, level, this is this could cause us damage. Uh, that missile is going to get to fire though, unfortunately. Um, you know, we've got plenty of drone parts. Let's hack the weapons. Do it before the fires. <sighs> Just in time. You ain't firing anything more. Come on, Flat, get ready. This should be a single shot kill, I think. Maybe. Quick, before the... There we go. Doink. Doink. Damn it, they got to fire. Uh, shields are down. Weapons. Helm. There we go. Uh, I did take a hit there. Oh, O2, blah, 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 blah. Quick, NG, go deal with that. They're not going to be able to fire again. Uh, the weapons are on fire. How are the weapons on fire when there's no oxygen on the ship? You know, fires don't start where there's no oxygen. No, oh, that's still on auto fire. Probably turn that off. And one more little barrage of my weapons should deal with this. And uh... <laughs> oh, actually, let's just take out the shields and the drone and the whole ship. There we go. Oh, it's so nice being OP in this game. Uh, another night. Right, I'm going to hold on to that scrap for now, just in case there's any shops around. Damn it, there's another one up there. Uh, asteroid field. There, there. I kind of, I guess we could just, you know, if there's, if there's ships everywhere, I'll avoid the pulsar one because they can be problematic. Uh, that'll get us a jump forward. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's see what's up here. Another ship to be scrapped. Ah, our first Zoltar. Oh, fucking intruders. Ooh, wow. That is a lot of Zoltans. Um, kind of annoying that they're in the uh, door room, but... And in the weapons room. They don't need... They do need oxygen, don't they? So... They will try and escape. I'm going to put you up in the cloak. You can go in the medical bay. Uh, get rid of him. Really don't want to take out my weapons. Gonna do that. Try and get as much oxygen out there as possible. Uh, close that. Turn off the oxygen. Close that. You get in there. Oh shit! I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to have the oxygen back on to fill that the door room up again. Uh, sluggy, go up there. How are we doing on weapons? Almost there. Oh, what we're gonna we're gonna lose a dual laser first. I can live with that. I oh, know we're not gonna lose anything because they gave up. Uh, uh, hang on, well, we've got two beams and an iron. That's not gonna be a problem at all. Ooh, they took out the med bay. That was probably pointless. I think. Hopefully, one's dead. There we go. Uh, where are they going? O2. Right, you might move around into there. They can break into the O2, I don't think they'll be able to do anything. Uh, can you actually, can you go on sensors? And then we'll... Just open up all these rooms. I, just, I don't want them to go into the uh, pilot's room if I can avoid it. Right, okay, shit, I'm wasting time here. Right, is this going to be enough to take down the Zoltan shield? Yes. And their normal shields as well. Right, so you're not going to fire your guns again, I'm afraid. Or, uh, I probably didn't have lasers either. Or shields, sorry. <laughs> oh, don't don't mess around, guys. Just don't fuck around with me anymore. Right, doors are closing. Oxygen's coming back on. A little bit of oxygen get back in. I want the NG to go and fix this. There we go. Weapons have already healed themselves. Oh, we might as well just destroy them, I guess. Even with a Zoltan shield, Zoltan, Zoltan shield, they really have no uh, no consequence to me. Right, I'm floating 120 scrap now, which is what I need for the weapons pre igniters. God, there are ships everywhere in this one. Uh, that one, that one, that one, then down into the nebula. Let's do the asteroid field. I feel like it could be entertaining for us. Ooh, another Zoltan ship. Zoltan, Zoltan, Timmy, what's wrong with you? Pretty insanity, right? Should we get everyone back on their systems really before we uh, go much further? Particularly, want the shields manned in this asteroid field. 
and Jacob needs healing. We need to bear in mind that. Uh, you know, let's just uh, let's just annoy. That's a weird place to have the uh, the helm right at the back there. No, I can't do it because of mind control. Because the shields are still up. That's fine. We'll deal with that in a second. Actually, they're gonna the asteroid field's gonna deal with it for me. I think. What do they got? Dual laser and a beam that have no consequence. Even with the help of the asteroid, they ain't getting near me. Uh, should we mind control? Just to annoy them. Uh, take that, take someone off their helm at least, so now they won't miss. None of these will miss, which will probably mean they die instantly. Uh, it's a very big door room, that isn't it? Ooh, I blew a hole in there. A hole, unless they did it to me. No, nope, I did it to them. Okay, so weapons and shields, maybe. Ooh, that was a lot of misses to say they had no one on their helm. They must have pretty good autopilot. And those two are going to fight each other, and hopefully one of them is going to explode. Nope. Not quite. They got away with it. Right, uh, I can just use the one slack as they've only got one shield left. Got two shields. And boop. And. I don't know, shields maybe. It makes no difference at this stage. Ba -ba -da -ba. But we are, we are beyond the point of being stabilised here. We are just forced to be reckoned with there. Yeah, we can get up to there. Hopefully I can get down to the nebula before it gets overtaken. Eleven fuel. Uh, missile and then... Oh, and a drone. Um, let's hack weapons. Just so we can avoid that missile shot. Hopefully. Although it does recharge very quickly. There we go. Is that going to be enough time? You know, let's not even wait for the other flat cannon because it's just not going to matter. Uh, weapons and let's keep the other drone up. I suppose it gets us. Ah, missed time that slightly. Ah, oh, why didn't they shut down the missiles? No, we have to wait now. We're going to have to take a hit from the missile. Don't hit me. Ooh, hit my cloak. Oh, I forget I got the cloak. I could have cloaked out the missile. That would have probably been more useful than the hacking. Okay, here we go. That one. That one. Shields are down. Weapons and shields. And they're dead. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. 50 more scrap. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to be making quick... Ah, oh, there's the store. Nice. Come on, weapons pre-igniters. Daddy needs a new pre-igniter. I don't know. Uh, backup battery. We're certainly going to want that. Stealth. Oh, stealth weapons are there. Life form scanner. Uh, well, we've already got a slug to do that. We don't need FTL navigation. Right, so 241. We've got stuff to sell. Do we want to sell the glaive beam? I feel bad about the glaive beam because I bought that in a store for like 95. I don't think it's ever even fired a shot. And now I'm actually going to be selling it for 47. So that was kind of a dumb move by me. But then again, I didn't expect to get the flak 2 for free through an event. So I kind of feel like I'm doing okay. Right, what do we want to get rid of? We're going to have to get rid of something. Okay, so we are going to have to sell uh, one of these augmentations. I'm leaning towards a slug repair gel. Um... It's a bit early to sell the scrap recovery arm and the long range scanners are always kind of useful right up to the very sort of last sector. Do I want stealth weapons more than I want slug repair gel. It's a nice thing to have but it, to be honest I've not even really thought about the fact that I've got it so we're going to get rid of it. And we're going to buy stealth weapons. Right so that's my second. Oh we have people. We'll come back to people. We're going to fix everything. I'm going to buy a bit of fuel. I know I've got loads, but I just don't want to have to worry about fuel full stop. And we... I can't... The problem is, I'd like to use the glaive beam, but I can't use it with all four weapons. I'd have to dump the dual laser. And obviously the flak 2. And I feel like the flak 2 dual laser is, is certainly a better combination than just the glaive beam. You know, that's seven shots, that's two, that's nine shots for, you know, a total of potentially nine damage. If everything hit, obviously. 
Whereas this is, you can normally do four wounds with this, so that's that is twelve damage. But I can't target it as much. I can't do like I can't take out all of the weapons or all the shields with it, and obviously it doesn't do damage through shields, which puts a lot of pressure on these two to get the shields down. And yeah, I, I don't know why I'm convincing myself. I've already done it. Uh, right, we need crew. Uh, we got four spots left or three spots left, I think. So let's buy. Uh, any of these got skills? Good repair. What do I need skills wise? Fighters would be nice, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I think a 20% repair would be nice. We're going to buy him. <laughs> Fleshy, I guess his name would be. And we are going to uh, rename him to. Uh, he's going to be Liam. One of our other long-term subscribers. So, welcome to the crew, Liam. We expect you to do much repairing. Right, where can we put Liam, though, is the next question. Uh, well, as you repair, I suppose the first thing you can go and do is fix the cloak, which has been broken. Let's get you back on weapons. I think I'm going to put him on doors. I could put him on sensors, but given my I'm not doing anything that particularly requires sensors, I don't feel like that's going to benefit me too much. Quickly heal up our NG Jacob. There we are, getting back on his position, and then we'll save the new positions. Nice. Um, so we've only got the last position we've got is for the sensors. We can still get three more crew. Oh, it's, no, it is eight crew. I thought it was seven, but it's eight. So I could have bought a couple more and I was tempted to do that, but I kind of want to hold out in case I get, you know, I could do with a Mantis would be nice, a Rock would be nice, and they're all people, so I'll save it some spaces for some, we want a diverse crew, let's say, we want to be uh, modern in that regard. Right, get another reactor power while we're here, and I want to upgrade, um... I feel like we should get a little bit more of that, but I'm, I'm going to keep floating 120 scrap in case we can find the weapon pre-igniter. Oh yes, we just made it back into the uh, into the nebula. Uh, without active sensors, which we oh no, they don't. You have no other option but to look out of the viewports in apprehension. It's eerily quiet and entirely pointless. What's this? Um, ion storm. Uh, we are going to be a bit stuck here, aren't we? Can we go down that way to this? Let's try out this iron storm. There's no ship there, but there might be something else of interest. Okay, you spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula there. They remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying fuel supplies, the other ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Now we have shitloads of ammunition and no need for ammunition. So let's get the fuel supply. The rock ship. Uh... A rock NG and a slug. Okay, we haven't got our dual lasers on right now, or oxygen, or shields. What have they got? I they've just got an ion on, so <laughs> that's a bit odd. I don't. <laughs> oh, balls! I didn't buy the backup battery. Damn it! I knew there was something I forgot. That's all right. We then we got one shield. Yoink. That's kind of a poor strategy of them. I have all four of my weapons up and running and they have one iron cannon up and running. This is not gonna end well for them. As we're about to see. Yoink! There we are. And weapons and I guess shields. Oh that was that was pretty devastating. Uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. The next thing should kill them. Yoink. There they gone. Give me your fuel supply. Oh shit, I was meant to take them intact, wasn't I? Uh, yeah, oops. Oh, well, we didn't really need the fuel anyway. Uh, switch back on this and get the hell out of here. So there was a ship there. My sensors lied to me. Uh, I kind of want to... Uh, 
I kind of want to go this way around because I'm going to get more jumps. I'm literally going to run out of jumps here. Because if I go there, my only option at that point is exit or to go around in a circle and back to there, which is kind of annoying. So I'd rather not have to do that if I can avoid it. Uh, ooh, we got a mantis with a boarding and clone too. Ooh, this could be quite annoying actually. Um, I fire off the port bow. Right, let's start draining oxygen from wherever we can. Actually, we're going to have mind control whoever comes on board. One mantis in the med bay. Oh shit, let's uh, let's redistribute power to important things. Um, yeah, let's just mind control him that way. By the time he comes out of that, the uh, ship should be dead. Uh, what have they got? They got oh, they got burst laser two. Burst laser two or burst laser three? Burst laser two and some kind of stealth bomb. So we are going to have to leave him on shields for now, at least till we do some damage. Ooh, that was terrible misses for them, thankfully. Oh uh, shit, what are they bombing? Oh, they missed. They missed with their bomb. How annoying for them. I will not miss. That I guarantee you. He says he misses practically everything. At least we got the burst laser 2 down there. That's quite nice. Ah, oh, now he's pecking away at our oxygen. Uh, man, the, man the empty room. I don't really care. Should we wait or should we fire again straight away? Probably fire again. We'll have to wait for the next flak blowed out. Eh, fuck it, we're almost there. Let's wait. Hope we can destroy them all in one hit now. Uh, we'll don't target the, the room that's already destroyed. Oh, they got no one on their helm, so they might have auto. They must have autopilot though, because I missed loads on the last one. Uh, right, I want that down, please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Didn't even need the lasers. Ooh, I am blast. I am. I, you know, I've said this before in this game. Oh shit, the oxygen's down and I depressurize the oxygen room. Hmm. Yeah, I've had runs in this game where I kind of get really, really dicked over. And I've done recording sessions where I kind of moan about being dicked over. But I have certainly not been dicked over in this run. I mean, I know I'm playing on easy. Um, so I would expect to get a lot of scrap out of, these, out of this. But, you know, some of the weapons things I've got have just been mental. I have been taken care out of by the FTL gods this time. Okay, we've got enough oxygen everywhere. Send everyone back and just grab another bit of power. And getting to a point now where I need as much power as I can get. So we've got a ship in the nebula. There, 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 there. Hopefully. Let's jump here, that way we can see what's at the the next one over and then be upset because we can't go there. A uh, message broadcast from a nearby planet now is the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. Likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad you don't have the time to visit. What do you mean I don't have the time? Why don't I have the time? Granted the rebel fleet's on my tail, but you know, oh, I knew there'd be a distress beacon there. <sighs> is this going to get overtaken? I think it's probably going to get overtaken, but I'm kind of tempted to go for it anyway. Uh, yeah, so when I jump here, this will move forward, and then I'll determine if this is going to get overtaken. Because if I jump there now and then there, I'm going to miss out on at least one, maybe two jumps. Ooh, this could be... Uh, I could be getting a bit cocky here, but I feel like I can take something out fast enough to avoid the too much damage from the orbital attack, the orbital cannons. Um, the rebels are about to gain control of this beacon. Screw it. Fortune favours the brave. We're going to spend a bit of scrap there before we go. Uh, it's coming from a small space station opening on an inhabited planet. Their satellite defence system has gone haywire and their, rah, rah, rah. and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable. I should have a blue thing for this. Uh, NG fix it. Give me scrap. Okay, that was nice. Now the moment of truth. 
Yeah, it has been taken over. Okay, what can we spend some money on to get us... Could probably get level... Max level shields. Or maybe a load more... Evade. Two more evade. One cloaking, two power. I'm not floating my scrap now, but I'm not going to be getting a store in this sector, so... Yeah, that's I quite like that because um, between the cloak and, and mind control and hacking, I, f I can distract them long enough even if I just jump away and don't take out the ship. Ooh, kiddo. Let's find out now if we've made a big mistake. Oh, bollocks. It's in a nebula as well. Uh, advanced Rebel. You can't see it for the nebula, but you can see the fleet right on top of you. You need to escape quickly. Oh, there's no orbital cannon here. Uh, we are down on power. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, they have a burst laser free, I think that is. Uh, we need... Hmm. Okay, let's think about it. Can I take this out? I need to hit the weapons. Fact that is going to take a while to charge. We do have all of our weapons on right now. But I only have level 1 shields. But then he only has level 1 shields as well. So... I'm almost thinking of disconnecting the flak. 3, uh, 2. We're going to fire as soon as these are charged. That's for certain. This will, These will not sink in the slightest. This will fire way out of sync with that, but that's going to fire like four or five shots, I think. And obviously we only have one shield. Right, let's... No, not further ado. Well, there we go. And target everything on the weapons. Yes, I got down that animal beast of a weapon. Yeah, we should be able to take them out now. That's not a problem. Come on, there we go. I'm just going to focus on keeping their weapons down. They're completely down now to so target the shields. Yep, no, we shouldn't have been worried. It was fine. I thought there was going to be the orbital defense cannon on this level, but maybe that's only if you go into one where uh, it's actually already been taken over. But yeah, there's no point wasting any more time. Let's just wipe them off the face of the planet. Give me the dual laser, please. There we go. Yeah, that was that was that was far less remarkable. What? All oh, right, yeah, yeah. I just get my one fuel back that I used to get here, and let's jump onto the exit. Uh, along with big dumps hidden in the nebula, when the FTL is driving, you can jump to the next sector. Uh, nothing there of interest. That's how very annoying. Uh, probably should put the oxygen back on though. Oh shit, definitely should put the oxygen back on. Someone's about to die of lack of oxygen. Uh, did anyone else other than Liam need healing? No, apparently not. There we go. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we have for the next sector. Oh, NG Homeworld next. Ooh, that could have been an unlock there. I don't know if I need to be the NG ship though for that to work, so... You know, let's jump in there as we've got another minute before our time runs out. You yeah, ride right, NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core world, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Stock up for my journey, really? And if the journey is... That's, that's kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway. Right, everyone's healed up and that's it. But I think we're going to have to wrap this episode up. I was hoping to crack on and maybe do another sector. But unfortunately, it's quite a big sector actually. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. So here we are, beginning of sector 6. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you'll check back for the next one where we'll try and max out our crew and continue the search for the elusive uh, weapons pre-igniters. But for now, this is all it's been. So I've been Timmy and this has been FDL Subscriber Crew Edition. And I hope you'll check back for the next episode.